who should participate in the strategic planning process. The strategic planning process should be a vision-driven process. That means it's not enough just to have staff or just to have board or just to have community members involved in the process because you're missing lots of different perspectives. So when engaging in a thorough, complete strategic planning process, we wanna look at engagement from lots of different peoples, your board, your staff, your community, but it's impossible to get all of those people in the room for the drafting process. We've all heard the statement, too many cooks in the kitchen. It's gonna be difficult if you try to bring 50, 60, 70 people into a room to draft the actual plan. So when we think about who to engage, we want to also think about where they might fit into the process. The pre-planning process, helping prioritize plans. Is it going to be the uh, identifying obstacles to the plan? Is it gonna be the two, uh, one, two, three day retreat, whatever your drafting process looks like, or is it going to be in the implementation? Knowing the different phases, pre-planning, your drafting and your brainstorming process, and then your action and implementation process will allow you um, a little bit more flexibility in determining who should we engage and how do we engage them in the process.